guys, it's Liv, and today I am making a video about hair. And my tips for how to grow long hair and how to have your hair be super healthy and stuff like that. So I'll show you my hair, how long it is right now. So yeah, that is how long my hair is now. My first tip is to eat a Whole Foods plant-based vegan diet, fruits, vegetables, starches, legumes, blah, blah, blah. If you want your hair or your nails or your skin to improve or to get longer or to be stronger, then eating plant-based is just 100% hands down the way to go. I have noticed since I've gone vegan and particularly since I've been eating more of like a whole foods, high carb, like, you know, high starch and more fruit kind of diet that my nails grow like crazy and my hair especially has just been growing like a weed. So I definitely think I can attribute that to my diet. So my second tip is to not dye your hair if you can help it. So back uh, I think it was two years ago, I started getting highlights, so I'm just looking at my viewfinder here, um, around this, I guess you could call this the my hairline, and I would just get some blonde highlights. You can see right here, it's lighter here, um, from about here down. So I started doing that, and I was dyeing my hair up until probably like half a year ago. I would just go to the hairdresser and get some foils done around my hairline, just because in the summer, my hair naturally lightens around there, and it just kind of brightened everything up, and it, I don't know, I just like the look of it. But I noticed in those spots, and I still notice it now, these spots that were dyed, like you can tell the difference between that and the rest of my hair, that I get crazy split ends there. And I mean, whenever I'm in class and I'm sitting there bored, I'll just look down and like, I'll see all of these split ends and I'll just start breaking them off because they really annoy me. And that is something that can really, really damage your hair. Like the parts that were dyed and thank goodness it was only a few parts were just so dry and they felt like straw and like I use Moroccan oil and stuff like that but just yeah the bleaching just really killed it. I know that everyone wants a different hair color than they have like I'm guilty of that too. I always wanted lighter hair and you know before I had dyed my hair darker and stuff but now I just accept my hair for what it is and you know it's brown it's going to be brown it was meant to be brown so I just leave it brown. So if you can help it don't dye your hair or dye it very, very minimally because it, it just really damages your hair. My third tip is to not use heat on your hair. I use heat maybe a couple times a month if I am going somewhere and I want to like curl a few pieces of my hair, but for the most part on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't curl my hair and I haven't straightened my hair in like maybe a year. I also don't blow dry it. and. Trust me, if I were to shower and then put my hair in a braid and leave it, it would probably stay wet for like four days if I didn't touch it. Like my hair retains water so much. So trust me when I say I know how annoying it is to have wet hair and like just wanna get it dry, but I just let mine air dry because blow drying it is also just really damaging to it and it dries it out a lot, especially in the winter when it's already gonna be a lot drier if you live somewhere where there's winter. What I have been doing recently is letting my hair air dry until it's like almost dry, maybe 80% dry. And then I'll just do not even a French braid, just a normal braid. So I'll like start here and just braid it. And when I take my hair out of the braid and it's very wavy. And then this hair that I have right now, this was braided a, uh, maybe like a day or two ago and then I braided it and then I just slept on it like this so this is kind of how it goes after I have had it in a braid for a little bit. I love messy loose waves I think is so pretty so yeah I just really like just braiding my hair. My fourth tip is to just accept how your hair looks right now and you know even if it's not exactly your dream hair that you want. I know that we all hate our natural hair. People with 
straight hair, want curly hair, and people with thin hair want thick hair, and everybody wants a different color. I just think that instead of spending so much time worrying about our hair and doing things to like change how our hair looks and change the color and curl it every day, like some people spend like an hour a day like straightening and um, blow drying and straightening their hair, and I just it's just like you could put that time to so much better use, I think. My pole teacher told me the saying, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at will change. So that's like, if you start appreciating the things about it that you do like, then it'll start to feel like your hair itself is changing just because you're accepting it and you like it more. So I don't spend a ton of time worrying about my hair or how it looks or how I can change it anymore like I used to do that and it just took up way too much time. And tip number five is to try to use no chemical hair products so I know that it's not feasible for everyone to buy expensive natural hair care products because let's be honest most like natural not tested on animal like cruelty free hair products are really expensive so do the best you can with what you have right now to buy those types of products but i just think the less chemicals and the less preservatives and like sulfates and all of that that is in your hair care products will only benefit your hair later on so yeah I hope that that's helpful. A lot of these things are things that you've heard before, like, you know, use minimal heat, but honestly, if you actually do it and you actually put it into practice, then you'll find it makes a really big difference. That is my five tips for growing longer, stronger, healthier hair. If you have any other tips, like even, you know, little tips or sp certain products that you use or anything like that, leave a comment below because I love talking about this kind of stuff. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye!